Haha. <laughs> More punishment for myself. <laughs> Seriously? I might... I can't tell if it's I'm getting worse at the game as I get older, or if the HD remix of this is... The hard difficulty is significantly harder than the original hard difficulty was on the PS1. But anyway... To spice things up, I'm gonna make a list of things that you should not feel bad about burning down. <laughs> As we go through this. I want a nice shade of green! That looks horrible. That looks horrible. Uh, America. Uh, pink, red, pink, red, wood, purple. Uh, like it matters. Give me them wheels. Them wheels. I like Embryo. I'm glad they included him in the game because he's been painfully overlooked for every kart racer ever. He's like the Waluigi of <laughs> Crash Team Racing, I guess, because it's like, except Waluigi gets into Mario Kart, but you know, Waluigi. Oh man, I used to always play Waluigi on Mario Kart. Way before he was meme to hell, I was just like, oh, yeah, I'm going to play as Waluigi all the time. And I basically played as Waluigi, uh, Shy Guy, or... Oh, who was the other person I used to always pick? Like King Boo or some shit? Dry Bones? I can't remember. Yes, I should definitely buy a Switch just to play Mario Kart because, you know, 350 pounds or around that much for a console and 70 pounds for a, literally a HD re-release of the game I was playing on fucking Wii and Wii U <laughs> with less Waluigi in it. <laughs> yeah, no. Maybe when I'm rich and irresponsible is like basically every time I get a paycheck. Okay, weird admission. It's not really an admission. Weird, <laughs> weird <laughs> comment, but why is Goth Coco like such a jam? <laughs> like, you know, I'm just like. Like, I don't even play as Coco in this game, but like, that portrait art down there. <laughs> and uh, also, she's just it's just such a cool setup for that character. I'm like, she looks good as Goth, what the fuck? Oh man. I'm never gonna have a Goth girlfriend, not in China, where they ban being individual. Damn it. <laughs> also, no one. No one around. Uh, I'm just getting mashed here. But it's fine. Time to harness planetary energy. <laughs> oh, yeah, the T Rex is in this game. Time. Burn the churches. Burn them all. And if you're worried about it coming across as the wrong reason, leave a note. <laughs> there was a guy. I shouldn't laugh. This is really fucked up. Uh, this guy who had a one man black metal project in America and he thought, oh yeah, I'll just be like the other black metal guys in Norway and burn a church down. And he unintentionally burnt down one of the most predominantly black churches in his area, and they thought it was a racist hate crime. So I'm just going to say, if you're going to go burn down a church, 
leave a note saying, hey, this isn't a race thing, this is your ideology fucking sucks thing. <laughs> like, <laughs> just leave a thing saying, hey man, your god is homophobic and an awful person, and fuck you, and you've made, you've sent science and technology back, like, centuries because you're crazy Luddite god that's like a fictitious bearded man in the cloud. <laughs> it's a fucking cold. <laughs> yeah, just be a dick. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> so this, like, if the first one was basically just a generic worse version of Papu's Pyramid, this is a generic worse version of Ruse Tubes. That's basically it. You can feel Nitro Car was literally just like, yo! Um, <laughs> we gotta make a new one and make it look all HD and shit, but we can't just literally copy paste everything, so we'll give everything a slightly legally distinct brand to it when it comes to this shit, and it feels just like. Why even fucking bother making it separate what you had the rights to crash characters but not like the, the concept of a track <laughs> maybe because other people worked on the tracks I don't know I'm doing really poorly here and it's giving me so many clocks but you will see when we're just driving on a straight I mean you have to really like exploit those shortcuts. It's just giving me all of these. Look at this shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Damn it. But you make one mistake and the entire fucking thing, the entire fucking remainder of the competitors just goes flying by you. If you're not boosting all of the time, they just drive past you like you're not hitting the gas pedal. It's fucking weird. You really see it on one where it's like, I'm on one straight for five seconds where I can't drift or boost, and the entire, like, I go from first to eighth at one point, and I'm like, because I'm not boosting. It's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> it's like, I don't remember it being this hard. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh good. I avoided it. Hey, second's not bad, right? First, second. Time to harness planetary energy. <laughs> I wish they had more win quotes. <laughs> uh. Good. Although I hate everything needs this fucking you to be signed into the internet the whole time for it to like otherwise you don't get your coins. It's so annoying. What should we burn next? <laughs> I'm doing this because for some reason on my channel this gets this and biker mice gets the most people watching. And if it's just babies being left to just mindlessly gawk at bright colors by their irresponsible parents and they're just being left to face palm an iPad while they go off and, I don't know, take Xanax or something. I, I want to corrupt as many people as possible so that I like, then they can be like, wee wee, yeah, look, turns out YouTube's not a babysitter because I'm an asshole. <laughs> This channel I have marked as not for kids. If you're gonna keep doing, if you're gonna just keep leaving them to watch my bullshit, I am gonna try and radicalize them into burning places down. So hey kids, burn down a police station. They don't fucking do anything but oppress people. They literally don't do their jobs in the UK. I have literally contacted the police 
to com- to inform them of a crime in progress, and they've gone. Uh, yeah, well, you know, you could just contact the council about that. And I've gone to the police station to report a crime, and they've act- literally acted like, "Why the fuck are you here?" So yeah, they literally exist just to oppress people. So fuck them, burn their fucking shit down. Maybe they'll start doing their job then. Fucking cunts. <laughs> Literally the most lazy pieces of shit I've ever met in my life. The only time I've had contact with the police, they have been either oppressive little shits who have tried to claim I had drugs when I didn't because I was outside wearing metal attire at night. And the only other time I have tried to communicate to them something important, they've gone, I don't fucking care because of the way I dress. So, yeah, fuck them, burn their fucking places down, pieces of shit. <laughs> like, fucking assholes. Because it's like, I earn more fucking money than you, which is ex- just makes it even fucking funnier. Because it's like, I actually have like a higher class job than them, and I'm like a major part, because I'm a fucking teacher, so I'm a major part of like, <laughs> you know, like, society, I like, you know, like, it's a fairly important job, it's not the most important, but it's a job that's not like McDonald's worker, and that's still important. It's just, uh, people treat it like it isn't, and it's like, it sh- to be honest, they shouldn't be treating anyone like shit. But they are, because they see me in a disturbed shirt and go, oh yeah, look, look at this fucking guy, I don't have to treat him like a human. They're like, no, but I'm now advocating that you go burn down their fucking police stations. <laughs> Bricks. Literally government mandated hate crimers. ACAB! <laughs> I'm losing now. <laughs> oh man, even with all of the clocks, the the eight position bonuses of like infinite clocks and masks and the orb. It's still not enough. The guys are finished and I'm still like half a track away. Stop hitting me. I feel like the kid brother who doesn't know how the controller works. Why don't people take me seriously? I don't know, Embryo. Oh man, I'm still winning just. I gotta do well on the next track, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna fuck it up. I can't remember. I recorded this a while ago. Oh, I like playing as Embryo, but like, you know, I can't always play as him for the channel, because then it's boring, right? What else can we burn? Burn down a Walmart, or an Asda if you're from the UK. Burn them down. They fucking destroy small businesses and they literally build on like nature reserves by bribing us. In the UK our council is super corrupt and if Tesco or um, Walmart go to them and say hey you know this council land that's like a nature reserve? We're fucking building on it. You can't do shit about it. Like the council will be like oh okay just give us a kickback then. So, fucking burn them down, they're destroying the environment and attacking endangered species so that they can pay us all shit wages. Go and burn them down. The only thing that you're affecting is uh, companies run by rich dudes who literally have more money than Belgium. (laughs) So, uh, yeah, oh no, you might be affecting their fucking shitty, like, ridiculously hyper-capitalist lifestyles. Oh no, they can't afford them their 15th golden-plated yacht. Certainly can't afford to pay a fair living wage, do they? <laughs> so, fuck them. Burn it down. <laughs> I'll think of something else to burn in a minute. I feel like I've done Electron Avenue and recorded it so many times that I've gotten to the point where I'm like, for fuck's sake. Also, it just feels like they went on the Retro Wave Tron 
asset pack and just vomited everything out. There's even a retro wave sunset up in the corner, look. <laughs> Which I like dig, but not in this setting, it just feels really weird. Why isn't there just a pure retro wave, not this weird Tron amalgamation track? That would be weird as fuck, but hilarious. Retro wave theme Crash Bandicoot, that's what we need. I'm always depressed that I can't get a copy of Outrun anymore. Like, any Outruns, really, it's pretty hard for me to hit my own missile. I'm faster than my missiles! That feels like a balancing problem. <laughs> I remember that in the original game. See? The shit, man. Seven, eight. I'm fucking the run! <laughs> going so bad. Yeah, I want to get on my mobile phone, right? Just, you know, I'm trying to get a good working version of Doom on my phone. And I don't really know why, but like, I just want to. And then I really want to get a working version of like a classic Outrun game on my phone. But I'm too lazy to sit here and like configure and download like emulators and shit. So I was just hoping that there was an app that I could just get it that isn't just ad riddled nonsense. But you know, I doubt it. Oh, I got one more lap and I'm not gonna save it! Roll! Big fail. Big sad. Oh! <laughs> I've gone up from zero points to zero points because eight to like fifth is all zero points, so it's like all this work is fucking meaningless, but like, okay, my pride is a little less injured. I might be able to get one point if I beat this guy. Basically, if you're not in the portraits in the corner here, by the end of the race, you don't get points, which I always felt like was a bit harsh. <laughs> I gotta get goth girl Coco to notice me. <laughs> oh, I feel bad for fucking saying that straight away. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. How did I drop a place there? How am I dropping a place here? Oh. Qualicom. Yay! People take me seriously. What else can we burn? Burn everything. Yes, even that. Fuck the system. Oh, I think I lost. I was too busy crying. Let's see. It's loading something. I'm probably like third or something. Oh, where? Seriously, these load times. Is it frozen? There we go. Here's a trophy. Not for me. <laughs> it's for that shark dude. Wow. I lost to a shark. <laughs> 